30-year-old Karen Elliott and Mia, Karen girlfriend, have gotten back to their seaside old hometown, Evelyn Bay, to help Karen's mother pack so his dad can be moved to a long-term dementia residence. Twelve years prior, Evelyn Bay was the site of an unexpected pulverizing storm that took lives, decimated property, and caused untold mental harm to many inhabitants. Presently, behind Karen and Mia's revisitation of the town, a young lady's body is found on the seashore. Twelve years back, a little youngster disappeared from the seashore and was never found. At about a similar time, 18-year-old Kieran nearly lost his life on account of an impulsive choice, several unwise decisions, choices that prompted the death of two men. The residents, his parents, and Kieran, will always remember the part he played during that awful storm so many years ago. Visiting his old neighborhood is a sort of torment for Kieran yet one he thinks he deserves. Nobody blamed Kieran more than he blamed himself for the savage events of the day. Presently, after 12 years, with the dead lady found on the seashore, huge numbers of similar individuals of some time in the past become suspects and are accusers, as the town bits of gossip spin out of control, in person and on Evelyn Bay's social media. People will talk, behind, that they could never say on face. This is a slow story, with well-created atmosphere, a tranquil feeling of fear, a portion of my fear came from Kieran's three-month child being towed along everywhere, in her little infant pouch, horrifying me and taking my mind off the story, at times, it wasn't the infant that terrified me, it was the way Kieran carried the infant around like she was a gym bag. I haven't invested a lot of energy at the coast yet Jane Harper allowed me to truly feel the area, the sea, the waves, the caverns, the seashore, the mood of the only bar, the temperament of the individuals, she made me to feel like I was in the story. Jane Harper, after only two of her books, The Lost Man and the Survivors, physicians up there with my favorite writers. I'm looking forward to book that Jane Harper composes and trust it's not very far into future.